NHS at 70, this week on the BBC News Channel. Hello, you're with Business Live from BBC News with Sally Bundock and Ben Thompson. All change in Mexico. Andres Manuel López Obrador is the new president. He's the first left-wing leader in decades. But what does it mean for that trade war with the US and the global economy? Live from London, that's our top story today, Monday the 2nd of July. The new Mexican president has pledged to tackle corruption and violent crime as the highest priority. It's a huge human cost and weighs on the country's balance sheet. But what sort of uphill battle is he facing? We'll be getting an expert view. Also in the programme, nearly 22,000 jobs have been hit on the UK struggling Hyde Street just this year and many thousands are still hanging in the balance. Also for financial markets, a brand new week's begun and as you can see in Europe, they're headed in one direction. We'll explain why. And forget that World Cup football for a minute. Wimbledon gets underway in London later and technology is taking the tennis tournament by storm. So we'll get the inside track on how that is changing the game. And today we want to know, as the high street continues to struggle, what do you still buy in the shops? What do you prefer to buy online? Let us know. Use the hashtag BBCBizLive. A very warm welcome. So let's get cracking. We begin with the left-wing candidate, Andres Manuel López Obrador, who has won a landslide victory in Mexico's presidential election. It comes at a time of... Thanks for coming in. Thank you, too, for your company. We are back tomorrow, despite the fact that Wimbledon is on. Yeah, I'll be and here. And we'll see you very soon. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello there. Many of us had another hot and sunny weekend, but it wasn't the case completely everywhere. We had some showers down towards the southwest of England, southwest Wales. There is the risk of one or two showers as we go through today and through the next few days, but they'll be very isolated. For most of us this week, it's warm, it's sunny, and we've got light winds. This